the builder pattern is a creational design pattern used to construct a complex or a non-complex object step by step, step by step. That's what important is. That is what is important. At first, we create such a data builder class with methods that represent the steps by step. And then we always have a method that finalizes the whole thing. The, the methods that do the step by step creation always return an instance of itself. So we can call it again. And then at the end, we can create whatever we want to create. In this case, again, just a simple da da data, data class. And then we are pretty much ready to go. Since the data builder is built like that, that even if we don't provide any additional data, uh, it works in this case of obviously this implementation is far from perfect. Um, but this is a very common pattern. Sometimes don't even discuss any further since it's so, yeah, pretty. it's pretty simple. It's not complicated. We find it often when, for example, uh, using link for interact for, for creating database queries, then we can chain uh, those uh, queries methods together, like uh, select where, order by, and then select again, maybe. Uh, or we can uh, use it also in Entity Framework Core when we create data transfer objects or in testing. For testing, you also see that a lot, this pattern. It's very handy, very clean, makes the code nearly read like natural language, which is a very fine thing.